All right, so this is my first impressions of this iPad mini. Um, it's pretty much the same as a iPad mini six. Um, excuse the office, I'm doing some uh, renovation in here. But um, right here, I have the iPad mini seven. And here's the iPad uh, Pro 11, the 2024 version with the OLED. Um, <clears throat> my biggest thing right here was I wanted to make sure that the screen didn't have that wobble effect anymore. Um, it's kind of like what they're calling the jelly scroll. But um, I was watching a lot of YouTube uh, reviews and uh, some of my favorite YouTubers uh, were on there saying, oh yeah, the jelly scroll is fixed and it's not there. It's not an issue anymore because they must have done something with the software, updated possibly the screen or um, <clears throat> maybe the processor makes it a little bit better and uh, the jelly scroll has been uh, fixed. Well, you can see that when you go, even if you go to the Apple store and check out uh, the uh, different devices. So uh, I went to the Apple store and there was a iPad Air uh, sitting next to the iPad mini um, 7. And I was scrolling up and down on the iPad Air and I didn't see any um, uh, jelly scrolling issues. Um, all I saw was like motion blur on, on the iPad um, Air. But on here, on the iPad uh, mini uh, 7, you see, not only do you see the motion blur, uh, which is indicative of the LCD um, display at 60 hertz, but you also still see the jelly scroll. So there's jelly scroll there. And I'm a little disappointed in some of the YouTubers out there, <clears throat> especially that I've, I've taken liking to um, just because uh, you could tell some of them were just bold faced lying. Um, I believe it's probably because Apple may have sponsored the, um, the product for them um, or they may have received some type of sponsorship um, uh, by Apple and uh, they failed to um, be uh, strict on Apple with this uh, jelly scroll because that was one of the biggest issues in the uh, community is we want a new iPad mini without the jelly scroll and everything else is just a bonus if they add on um, 120 hertz play and display and everything but um, the jelly scroll unfortunately is still there um, you can really see it uh, but the thing about this is <clears throat> potentially because it's a faster processor it's refreshing a little bit faster to catch up with the with the wiggling, um, but it's still there. It's just not as pronounced as the iPad Mini Six was. So, for you guys going out there that are you know sensitive with all the um, the motion of sixty hertz versus one twenty, um, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, it is not fixed. It's still there. Uh, but it is less visible um, than it used to be. Whenever I scroll up and down, you can still see the the jelly scroll, but that's if you go fast. Now, doing a normal scroll like this, um, you really can't tell because it's refreshing a little bit faster than what it what it was on the iPad Mini Six. And that was the thing about the iPad Mini Six; um, it didn't refresh as fast from left to right or from right to left, whichever way it goes. Uh, but you could see that wave um, whenever you're scrolling. And that was my biggest pet peeve of the iPad mini. Um, and uh, I ultimately ended up um, trading it in so I can get this one. And it's still there. But I think this time it's a little bit more tolerable uh, for those of you that are uh, sensitive with um you know, pixel peeping and stuff like that. Like my eye vision is really sensitive to a lot of that uh, refresh rates and I can see it. So anyway, let me back this up. This one is the uh, 512 gigabyte uh, model with the, uh, let's see, it's right in here. The cellular uh, model. So it's a top tier version of it. Spent almost a thousand dollars on this iPad mini. And um, I'm, Thinking, you know, this is a nice little pocket rocket. 
Um, it's it's powerful. It does everything you need it to do, um, except uh, things that you know your iPad Pro can do, which is um, on here. I feel like a iPad Mini is more of a annotator device instead of a actual note taking device. Um, so <clears throat> what I mean by that is you already have a, a form or you already have a, um, a document on here that you want to go back and you want to write and scribble on or, or annotate things or maybe take a little note here and there on it. Uh, but on here, you can actually form uh, full, full thought out notes uh, with ease. It's just much easier on a larger screen. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pro, but you can get like an iPad Air or just a regular iPad. And uh, to be able to take notes and everything is so much more effective on a 11 inch screen or higher. And I think 11 inches is the sweet spot for me. Uh, but here on the mini, it just it just feels like I know a lot of people go out there and they do it. They're able to take a lot of notes on here. Um, and it's just so convenient. It's so nice to hold. It's just easy to, to lug around. Uh, but the fact of the matter is you're compromising on a lot of different um, ease of use aspects of things. So if you're trying to take notes and stuff like that, it's it's going to be a cumbersome um, thing to to get used to. Like you have to get used to it. Whereas on here, you, you automatically can just start writing and scribing things how you want. Uh, but um, you're, you're, you're definitely sacrificing on this mini. So with that being said, I think for those two things alone, I'm going to be sticking to uh, the, uh, the pro. So I'll be taking this one back. Um, I'm sure they're going to have a ton of these on the shelves. Um, it's really good for pilots that, want, that fly smaller aircraft. Um, but, uh, I think I'm going to just try to squeeze this into the cockpit and, uh, make this work as far as my profession goes. Um, but, uh, it's just so convenient. It's so nice and small. I like it, but it's just not practical. Anyway, I hope this helped subscribe, comment down below what your thoughts are. And, uh, cause I, I really would love to know what you guys think about, think about these two products and how this can fit into your life versus something like a larger iPad. It doesn't have to be the pro, but just a larger iPad. Uh, what's the differences for you and what makes it or breaks it for you? All right, see you guys in the next one.